800 cities is how much it costs to get a child to work on a cocoa farm at Elukrum in the Western North region. The price slightly shuts upwards uh, for children who are older. These are excerpts es of Joy News' latest investigations titled Children in Cocoa Labor. Investigative journalist Quite Nate reports this illegal trade is negotiable between the farmers and the family of victims of trafficking. Twelve million. Twelve million. Twelve million. Wow. Hey. So, she's Chief Executive Officer of Cocoa, but Dr. Emmanuel Opoku says uh, his outfit will not protect any cocoa farmer found guilty of child labor. Dr. Opoku says that he said this while reacting to a latest joint news investigative report. The investigation reveals how children are trafficked for a sum of thousand cities to work on cocoa farms. So you can see that farmers really, really believe that the use of children for this particular activity is not permissible in Poco. And so, uh, I, and that is why I said I'm very sad because, you know, uh, I, I would rather go in a situation where the people have not been exposed to this kind of uh, activity against children. Uh, for you to be talking about. But situations where farmers are very, very well uh, educated, then I can say that uh, there's a deliberate sin by certain farmers who are doing that. And I want to appeal to Joy. We do not want such appeals to be shelved. When it happens like that, we want the news media to cooperate with us and report such matters to the police so that you, you draw our attention to it. Because look, I am the one in charge of this project. I mean, the child labor thing and the thing. It's going to stretch my head. But I'm putting somebody in that I should listen at that time where I was the one for like food. So please, we are, we are appealing to you. I mean, if we need to uh, collaborate and work on these projects, we will do that because, look, we have oh, since 2001. We've done that a lot. We, you know, sometimes the, the, the government, the U.S. government, uh, comes to threaten uh, uh, some of our neighbors and ask them, look, these people are, we are not doing enough against this. But we are doing it now because we are doing a lot of education. The only thing we don't know is that we don't have the power of arrest. And sometimes some of these things, you wouldn't know until the news media pounds on them. So we are, we are open to work with Joy Essence because we, we, we hate, we detest this kind of practice by a few farmers who want to use children to, 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 to achieve any economic thing. Because look, we don't allow that. It is, by the laws of Ghana, it's illegal, it's criminal to do that. Um, Kwete Nate, who uh, put together that investigation, joins us via Zoom. Kwete, uh, what more did you uncover in this investigation? Isha, um, the investigation, which will be aired on Monday on the Super Morning Show, as well as the Joy News channel, um, shows how parents are complicit in this illegal trade, as well as children being forced to drop out of school because their services are needed on the cocoa farm in the Western North region, in the Ashanti region, in the Eastern region. We'll also be showing and sharing experiences of children who spray cocoa farms, which is an illegal practice, by the way. We also, the documentary also highlights how 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 much some of these masters pay for for the children to engage the services of these children
All right, Kwete Nate is our investigative journalist uh, who put together this one. Except of uh, the documentary, uh, Children in Coco Labor will air on Monday, January 10 at 8.30 a.m. on a Super Morning Show and 8.30 p.m. on the Joy News Channel. Make a date.